Bienvenidos, damas y caballeros, uh, Grim Fandango Remastered, and surprise, Yay! surprise, we have lost a Brandon, but we've gained a BJ. Ha <laughs> ha, skeletons. So, yeah, I gave BJ a very, very abridged version of uh, what was happening, so I uh, hope you can follow along. I'll do my best. All right. So, in the last part, so, um, Domino, uh, he locked Meche up in the vault that's, like, right outside his door. So, we gotta, we gotta bust her out. But, before we do that, uh, we're gonna take care of a couple of things. So, uh, right here, like, it, it's kind of hard to tell with the texture. But that's actually a conveyor belt. Oh. oh I, yeah, thought it was, it, I, I thought it was a tube. Yeah, I thought it was like a two, like just spewing out blood and guts or one yeah, or something like that. Yeah, believe me, I thought the same thing too, but you know, that's the texturing. So when you climb up this so when you climb up the stairs, we can we can move Whee! the little crane. So you're gonna wanna move the crane to the opposite end. So when you lower the crane down, it's got like a hook, like that claw thing. Yeah. So what you want to do is uh Move the claw, basically over to the other side. You know, because before, if you saw, like, in its initial position, uh, it wasn't hanging over land or anything. By moving it over to the other side, now we actually have a means of reaching the claw. Yeah. So if you, so if you remember the bus stall that we got, that we traded from the other guy. Damn. So, <laughs> yeah, we're good. Well. So, all right, we got ourselves... See claw. They don't give these chisels to the new guys. That's the power of the bus doll. Yes, the claw is mine. All right, so you're going to want to leave uh, the claw there. Oh. And we are going to walk all... The, we're going to walk back to the crane. And despite what that animation looks like, the crane is still operational. Oh, okay. So, because it's a chain... You're gonna pull it, in, push it in. You're gonna want to operate it to push it down into those uh, grinders and pull it out. So now we've pulled up grinders. Then you're gonna want to take it to the other side and pretty much dump the chain right on top of that uh, conveyor belt. Ah, huh. okay. That's some weird jump cutting there. Well, that's you know that's the game for you. Right I, 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 like, I, I yeah. figured I figured that much, but it, that was, that's kind of a little awkward to look at. Yeah. <laughs> and then hitting that yep, and hitting that switch puts it in reverse. So yeah, like I yeah I, I think we mentioned this like back on like part one and everything. Yeah, this game does have some really weird camera issues, weird jump cuts and everything. I mean, it's like. I mean, the camera can change depending on, like, where Manny is. And it can be... It can be a little disorienting every now and again. Right, yeah. I think... I think I th yeah, I think at one point... Um, I mean, I could be wrong, but I think at one point we did kind of bring up how it's like... Oh, yeah, it's relatively similar to how it was, like, if we were playing, like, the first Resident Evil game with the camera angles and all that jazz. Yeah. So, climbing down the chain and... Well, well, ain't that convenient? There's a uh, boat. <laughs> um. Okay. Wait, was it just suspended there before, or? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the boat. So, if you remember, Ryan. Yes. Okay. Uh. Well, for one thing, this is where Gladys landed. So, yep. Gladys is okay. But um. God. But if you remember, Ryan, when we were in Rubicava, you remember uh, the captain where he was talking about this ship that uh, that's uh, the Lumbago that uh, sailed away, and he like you know never saw her again and everything. Wait, is, wait, so wait, this is the Lumbago? Yep, this is this is the ship. Oh shit! I think this baby's nice. Oh, yeah, it took us, point. like, a whole year to finally find fun. it, but there it is. Yeah. I don't know how... Uh, they don't really explain how this ship That's ended up cool. there, let alone how it, uh... How it's still standing on the edge of the Earth, but... Okay, whatever! <laughs> well, don't worry we'll about it, just with roll it. with it. <laughs> yeah, it's like, we'll, we'll, we'll live. <laughs> okay, so... 
All right, so we found Gladys, and Gladys, he's actually working, he's actually going to work on the ship, because remember, he's also part, he's also acts as a mechanic, so. Oh, yeah. So, um, yeah. So basically, like, you know, all those things I did, like, you know, um, there we go. Yeah, you want to switch it around, like, you cut, you got to hit the conveyor belt, uh, backward to basically wrap the chain around, and Go all the way back to the crane, because this is how we're going to pull that boat off of that cliff. And, you know, the, what you call it, the claw part, the, um, the grinders, Gladys is going to use those to basically fix the ship. So we'll, we'll basically have our escape. What is Gladys? Gla Gladys is a demon. So in this world, um, there are demons that are summoned from the underworld and basically think of them as, like, you know, uh, third-class workers and everything. You know, they are literally uh, created to do one job and one job only. And for Gladys, it was to drive and repair machinery. Hmm. All right, so well, how, how convenient that a dude whose 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 literal life job is, is strictly exactly what Manny needed happened to be in that very spot. Well, yeah. Well, Gladys has been with us since you know practically the beginning. I mean, he's been like Manny's ally and everything. It was just in the previous part, uh, it was led to believe that um, Manny's rival Domino actually killed. Gladys, because he literally just, like, he pulled, like, a Looney Tunes. He, like, hit a button and a trap door opened underneath Gladys and he fell over the waterfall. So we're like, oh, no, Gladys is dead. And nope, this door. that's not what happened. So, so Gladys is working on the ship. So now we got to worry about getting Meche out. So, I don't want to mess up the wheel. The wheel's yeah, fine. so... <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Here, so here <laughs> I have is, a very bond, fond relationship with the wheel. So here is this chapter's fuck, fuck this puzzle. So the first thing you want to do is use the bus stall on that vault. And it's not that the vault is difficult, like unlocking it or anything. It's just annoying as fuck. So... If you see when what we opened up at the bus stall, you see those weird little wheelie things. Yes. You're gonna want to you're gonna want to turn the center wheel, and as you're turning it, you see how they're kind of moving. Uh, yeah. You want to align these, like I guess I don't know what you would call them, gears, wheels, or something. You want to align them in a way so that you can wedge your scythe in between to open the vault. But as you can see, they don't they don't turn all at once. You start on the bottom, then it goes then to the next one, to the next one, to the next one. So it's like if you don't get all four of those exactly lined up, you're gonna be wasting a lot of time constantly rotating these fucking things, and it gets annoying and tedious. Ah, so, ah, so, oh, ah, okay. So basically, it's another one of those puzzles, quote unquote, where it it's solely trial and error. In a way, yeah. It's just unlike the previous puzzles where I was saying fuck this puzzle, where they were vague as hell. Yeah. No, this one, it's clear to understand what you're supposed to do. It's just, you know, if you don't know what you're doing, and if you don't if you don't get it just right, it's like, ah, oh, that's another minute of rotating these fucking things. No time for hide and seek. Right, I... Yeah, especially seeing as how they don't really explain a whole lot, like, right off the bat on what exactly you're supposed to do, like, oh, Raul, and, it'll, and so, yeah, so it could, I can only imagine, like, for people like myself, it could possibly be, take a little bit of time to, re to figure out, okay, this is how these little locks work, so I gotta do this to see if I can align them up. Granted, yeah, like you said, probably not as tedious as these, uh, fuck this puzzle, or segments and whatnot, but y you see what I mean. Well, <laughs> uh, okay. all right. So, so we're in the vault. We found Meche and everything, but it's like, yeah, now we're actually locked in the goddamn vault. Oh, god, <laughs> god damn it! 
so you're actually going to want to drag this axe. And yeah, the controls for dragging this thing are really weird. So the whole idea is uh, underneath one of these tiles is basically a hole. And this axe is so heavy that you can literally drop it on the tile to uh, break it. Like so. How are you supposed to figure that out? Try. Uh, part of it is trial and error. Uh, above, uh, what's called right above. If you can see those pipes, that's actually a water system. You can actually use the site to trigger like the sprinkler system, and you'll see where the water drains, and that will tell you where to go. That's it. What? They just sit there. That's what's been bothering me. In the days when I was a hot salesman, I used to see double in tickets all the time, and they move. What do you mean they move? They become agitated around human souls, and the ticket that belongs to you will actually fly into your hand. But these tickets, and the tickets in that suitcase of Charlie's, it's like they're dead. Why would Hector and Domino be hoarding cases of counterfeit double end tickets? Ah, it doesn't matter. They wouldn't fit through this hole anyway. Let's go. All right, so kind of picking up a little bit of um, what was uh, what Manny was finding in Rubicava. So yeah, these double end tickets and everything that have been uh, that Manny's been coming across, they are counterfeits. They're not the real things. So the plot thickens, but regardless. We're on the ship, we got Meche, and we've gotten all the prisoners out, so time to make our escape. What? Oh, God. Uh, uh, later, later, fucker. <laughs> so are you really going to bring me back and try to get your old job again? There's no job for me now, except to bring you and everyone else here to the end of the road. But if you aren't going to use me to get your job back, why did you spend all this time trying to find me? I know, because heterosexuals. I needed to find you. <laughs> what are they going to kiss with? They had no lips. <laughs> I gave you one job, Manny. And look at you. Already screwing it up. <clears throat> and so the epic battle between Manny I and Domino begins. So, yep, it's time for the showdown. Time to whip out now, the scythe. Now, again, there's one solution, but I am going to exhaust all the dialogue options because it's oh. actually kind of funny. Okay. Ooh. This doesn't look good for the kid. Look, Tom, I'm not going to work for you. Oh, don't worry about that. You're fired. Just consider oh, this. Oh, fired again. Oh. Yeah, so just keep talking to Domino. And until you exhaust all the dialogue options. What are you doing away from your desk anyway? I'm sending this domino back to the phone pile. Smart strategy, always let your boss win. You know, your name is Domino, but you're really just a pawn. Please, save the comic book one-liners for when you're winning. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Just like with your selling, Manny, you got a weak attack and no ball. Wow. I could do this all day, Manny. Hey, I'll stop anytime you get tired. <laughs> Ow. Oh, my nose hole. Yes, please stay down this time. <laughs> Ow. At least at the Christmas party, you passed out before you really got hurt. <laughs> <laughs> nice little throwback to that <laughs> mention in the very beginning of the game. I Jeez. remember. <laughs> Bad enough? Yeah, it's like, yeah, BJ, nope. there was this whole thing that they said that was like, yeah, at the Christmas party last year, Manny got so drunk that he beat the shit out of Domino. Oh, please, Manny, stop showing off for the girl. <laughs> <laughs> the girl's like a mile in the other direction. All right, so I think that's been pretty way, much it. Way, well over one over one mile at this point. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> oh, pretty my much. Eye. So yep, you're gonna want to hit the eyeball because if you remember, that's the octopus that was dragging people. Ow! Why aren't you more like me, Manny? 
Wait. <gasps> oh, God. Come, buddy. I want to look slightly to your left. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh! Oh! oh, God. This is like watching Stardust Crusaders. It's like sudden violent death. <laughs> Oh my god. God damn my it, I will god. find a way to make a JoJo's reference at some point. <laughs> but One year later, they've been, on the, they've been on the road for a year? Yep. Uh, on the road? Yep, so uh, pretty, so like, pretty much. the ocean for a year? Yeah, pretty much, like, yeah, after after that whole thing, yep, they've spent, uh, they spent a whole year and we're... Pretty much now, this is, I guess, what you would consider the end of the road. So, you see the train tracks and everything. So, yep, beyond this gate lies the Ninth Underworld. Name? Pugsy Poligiano, sir. Hmm. Waiting room number two. Next. Goodbye. Oh no, Gl Glottis! What? <laughs> he just. Glottis? Where'd yep. you go this time? Did he just uh, fall off? Uh, oh god. Nah, nah, he, he uh, passed out. Oh. And, uh. Basically, uh, yeah, so Glottis, yeah, he didn't, like, fall off or anything. I mean, he pretty much, like, passed out. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, like, because from that angle, it looked like he fell off the platform and it just fell to the sky again. No, 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 he didn't fall through the sky or anything. I okay, mean, you, right. you know, uh, we'll actually see and get a lot more details of what's going on with Gladys in the next video. Oh, okay. So, so yeah, guys, we're almost done. We're on the final chapter, so... Yeah, man, and uh, heads up, just to let you know, uh, this final chapter is by far my personal favorite chapter, and you will see why. Oh, uh, all right. All right.